the standings after 140 laps. The Netherlands are leading on 17 points from Belgium, who've got 15, and Russia are lying third with 13. France fourth on 10 at the moment. Great Britain haven't scored any points, but of course they still have the chance to try and gain a lap. Well, they did know that this was likely to be the case. Mark Cavendish standing in for Geraint Thomas, who was supposed to be riding this race, but had a very nasty crash. They knew that it was going to be unlikely they could be competitive in the sprints, and they knew they would just have to wait. Well, they haven't had a window yet, but as you say, Hugh, the race isn't finished. Well, that last sprint was won by Slippens and Stam. Very polished pairing from the Netherlands. Four six-day victories to their credit this winter now there's an attack by the pair from the united states trying to go away here now this is exactly what the crowd wanted and that is not steinem colby pierce that have gone clear being watched in the middle there by shane sutton and david brailsford hales of course is still sitting in there with young mark cavendish and cavendish is making his debut in the world madison just 19 years of age well colby pierce a very canny rider you know when he starts to make attacks the field is ripe to let something go and already he's gained quarter of a lap let's hope that Hales or Cavendish can spot that can they do anything with it it's always good when you're out there to have some kind of company well I can tell you the answer to that Chris is yes and that's young Cavendish just look at him he's absolutely burying himself this is Shades of Athens when Wiggins and Hales gained the lap in the closing stages to lift themselves up to the bronze medal position now I can tell you what's happening here the Belgians and the Dutch are watching each other you can see they're first and second and so neither of those two countries want to take up the pace setting and this is playing very much into the hands of the British Perry of Cavendish and Hales if they could gain the lap even though they've got no points at all they would become the leaders well this is where having no points can actually weigh in your favour because the legs get tired they can't chase every attack so they have to concentrate on the key ones and when somebody's got no points well we give them quite a lot of rope so terrific effort here by the very experienced rob hales 32 years of age he came to these world championships without a world title to his credit he's already got one and it's looking very much as though he could get two here comes the change hales relays the uh, young cavendish back into the fray and the back of that peloton is getting ever nearer well, it's still a long way to go. The trace changes very rapidly in the Madison. They've got to make contact. That's the only hope that they've got. They can see it in front of them now. This has got to be some of the hardest 10 minutes of their life. Well, young Cavendish, just look at this. He's only 19 years of age, but really his age belies his effort here. Burying himself down the back straight, and the crowd are absolutely loving this. They can see that Great Britain can gain the lap. 30 more laps to go, and there is the changeover. Rob Hales, such a prodigious talent is Hales, sees the back of the bunch ahead of him, and if he can bridge the gap and make the junction, and he's going to do it, here he comes, then Great Britain will be leading this World Madison Championship by one lap over the rest of the field, and it's a case of defending their position. Well, there's a lot of experienced teams here, and as he bridges that gap, they are now the leaders of this race. So that means that they also have all the responsibility. He can't take a rest. He has to work his way to the front as quickly as possible and try and stop any of the other teams launching a successful counter-attack. Well, all the rest now have got to try and think out a game plan. Can they give uh, Hales and Cavendish the slip to gain a lap? It's getting very close to the finish and that's going to make it difficult for them to lap the field. What an intriguing development here and who'd have thought it? Well, Mark Cavendish is looking pretty spent now. He's doing everything he can just to stay in the wheels. Perhaps this isn't going to come down to tactics. It's going to come down to the lap of the gods. They've done their bit. They can't do any more. They've just got to hope this race stays together. Well, we saw Cavendish, didn't we, in the scratch race. He just missed a medal there when he placed fourth. And there is confirmation after sprint eight. You can see Great Britain are leading. The Netherlands second on 22 points and Belgium a third on 19 now there's a real contest behind for the minor places because I can tell you that the French pair and the Russian pair have both got 14 and so they'll be trying to challenge the Belgians and the Dutch for the silver and bronze you can see this race is in bits now and if anybody catches the back of the bunch and they've got some points then Great Britain will lose this race they just have to survive for another four laps 
Well, it's looking good, isn't it, for Great Britain. The Australians relay each, each other here into the fray, down to the closing three laps, and I can tell you Great Britain can start to celebrate. But the rest are going to have to be vigilant here because the Dutch, the Belgians, are going to have to watch how it pans out in the finish because Belgium are only three points behind the Dutch, and if they can slip away here to get points and the Dutch don't figure, then Belgium could get the silver. It's all down to the wire for this fellow, it doesn't matter. Cavendish, he knows the world titles within his grasp, gritting his teeth and and I should say sucking in the air here in the closing stages as we now come up to the bell lap and what a sprint we're going to have here and it's uh, Russia on the front challenging here in the concluding lap and I can tell you Ignatiev and Trusov of Russia have got 14 points and if they were to win this final sprint and uh, they would tie with Kaiser and Gilmore of Belgium. Oh, but Kaiser and Gilmore, I think, just about got fourth there. And that'll mean that the one point will put them ahead of the Russians and they will remain in the bronze medal position. But who cares? It's all about this fella, Rob Hales and his partner, Mark Cavendish, the world Madison champions. A tremendous display. And celebrations have started already in the middle. There they are, the world Madison champions, Rob Hales and Mark Cavendish. And this has got to be the youngest world champion we've ever had. Fantastic for the future here. Terrific display. There's the results. Great Britain for gold, the Netherlands for silver, Belgium for bronze.